in this video we are going to talk about parts of vi so there are three parts of vi first is front panel second is block diagram and third is icon and connector pane to understand more let us quickly create a new vi by pressing ctrl plus n so we have front panel and block diagram in front of us and then we have this connector pane and icon front panel is used to generate all the ui related activities or elements right so in order to build a ui and ui you have to press or uh, you have to sorry drag and drop all the ui related elements whereas on the block diagram you have to develop all the algorithm based tasks all the logic building that you are going to do is will be on the block diagram now let's talk about the third part that is icon and connector pane so icon is used to represent the functionality of vi in a graphical form let me quickly create an icon uh, let me quickly delete the default icon and uh, create a new icon this uh, let's suppose uh, this is my learning so i'll type learn right and let's suppose this vi do the function of addition so I, i'll write add over here so now whenever i'll see this uh, icon i'll automatically understand that there is something addition functionality going on within this vi right now connector pane is used to map all the inputs and outputs from this vi to another vi every vi has the functionality or the capability to be converted as a sub vi or function right so we'll talk it more about in the modular sec section but the connector pane is used to map all the inputs and outputs which will act uh, which will help this vi, VI or enable this vi to act as a so yeah